Oh, the Republican goofballs are at it again. It's Agenda 21 again. This time it's in Missouri. They've ferreted it out. The real problem, Agenda 21 from the United Nations. They're gonna send us into Hobbit homes. They're gonna create these co communities where we can all walk to, to one another and we can't be spread out. We're gonna be in tiny little homes. Oh, I know it, it's coming, it's coming. In fact, State Representative Scott Fitzpatrick uh, says, of course he's a Republican. Agenda 21, a lot of people think it's a conspiracy theory, but it's a real book. It's a book? Hmm. It deals with property rights and our food source. It deals with our ability to produce food and employ agricultural methods. Well, that sounds very serious. Lovington Post explains Fitzpatrick, along with Representative Lyle Rowland, the bill's sponsor, argued that the UN is pushing the sustainability plan to take away property rights. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they're coming for your property rights. All right, so what is Agenda 21? Well, it was a resolution passed by the United Nations back in 1992. It's not like it happened recently and they're panicking over it. It happened in 92. It was not ratified by the United States Senate and does not contain the force of law in the United States. In other words, passing a bill, as they're planning in Missouri, to say that you cannot, local government cannot enforce Agenda 21 here in Missouri is totally irrelevant because it's not a law in the United States of America. Of course they can't enforce it. It doesn't exist as a law here. And he, it was a resolution. It reminds me of James T. Kirk. You know, remember on Saturday Night Live when he did that great skit? We did this show on a lark 40 years later. You guys are still coming to conventions over it. <laughs> we did this resolution on a lark. Hey, wouldn't it be nice if we had a little sustainability and we didn't destroy the planet? And these guys are like, oh, they're coming for our property rights. They're going to make us live in Hobbit homes. That lunatic, Senator Ted Cruz, United States Senator from Texas, has it on his website talking about Hobbit homes and how the Agenda 21 people are going to take over. Anyway, this is ridiculous, right? This lunatic conspiracy theory at least is not going to pass this legislation in Missouri, right? So the House of Representatives just voted on it 110 to 40 in favor. It has passed. There will be no Hobbit homes in Missouri. Aha! We foiled you, Agenda 21! No resolutions here, I'll tell you that. Now there's still the Senate and the Governor, etc. But can you imagine 110 to 40 it passed? What are you going to outlaw next? Bigfoot? <laughs> no Bigfoot in Ozark! I'll tell you that right now! Actually, Bigfoot is a lot more possible than the United Nations landing black helicopters in the middle of Missouri and forcing everyone into Hobbit homes. So, just when you think you can't get any crazier, we move on to Kansas, where they are trying similar things. Now, State Representative Dennis Hetke had already proposed legislation against Agenda 21 last year. And last year he said, quote, oh, actually in 2011, I should be correct, two years ago, this resolution informs policymakers of the aggressive environmental, social engineering, and global political control that is Agenda 21. So Kansas is way ahead of Missouri on this one. But that's not all. Now that was back in 2011. Now he wants to update it. So that same state senator comes in, or state rep, and says now that he would like to ban sustainability, period. His legislation would ban Kansas state and local governments from spending public funds on sustainable development. I want you to think about how funny that is. Okay. We will not be sustainable in Kansas. Everything will immediately perish. <laughs> you will not be able to develop anything that lasts past seven days. <laughs> what does it mean to ban all sustainable development? Just when you thought they couldn't get any crazier. Can you accidentally break the law? Oh man, I'm really sorry, man. That, that thing sustained itself for like two weeks. My bad. Take me to jail. <laughs> man. Now, you think that's bad. You know that the same Republican lawmakers in Kansas, part of this whole Agenda 21 nonsense, thought that biking to work or biking in general was part of the UN agenda. They tried to pass a law, let me quote here, that bike paths were radical and destructive to the American way of life. <laughs> this is one of the major political parties in the largest and most powerful nation on earth. 
be afraid, be very afraid.